Final Cut Pro X Tutorial The Ripple Effect Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Taboo Bubbles and today I have a quick little tutorial, um, just a, another montage effect because I know I did one a while ago and it did pretty well so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and do another one since I just edited my recent Battlefield 3 video. And if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Uh, it's, I, I know I call it a montage, but it's pretty short. But anyway, the effect I'm going to be showing you how to do is this one right here. It happens really quickly, so uh, just pay attention. And uh, I'll hit play again this time. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> All right, so that right there, that little like um, kind of effect to make the shot stand out. And it's another way to sync things and make everything look nice. So, anyway, we're going to open up Final Cut because that's what I'm using. And that's what you're using too, right? Okay, because if you're not using it, then you're dumb. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's go here. Edit testing. Cool. All right, so here's a clip I have, and it's a pretty nice little quad, quad feed in Battlefield. And let's see where exactly I want to hit this so the shot was right there if you didn't know you can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame so you can see exactly where the shot was so the shot was right there so what we're gonna do is use the blade tool okay blade tool and <clears throat> you want to cut the clip so that there's a little space for you to put the transition because that's all this effect is so you go to transitions and like the circle one um, this is something that you probably never thought of doing, and that's why I encourage you to try things out, even if you have an just an idea, and you're not really sure how to execute this idea. Um, just just try things, just spitball, and eventually you'll probably figure out how to do relatively what you wanted to do. So, yeah. Now, if you drag this on here, it's it's a ripple effect. Just in case, I don't I don't know if I said that. If you drag this on here and your transition is huge or uh, it's huge and it says like you know uh, transition is too long you don't have enough space and you get it on here and it covers the shot what you need to do is go into preferences and default length of transitions this is the this is the thing right here so the default length I have it set to 0.25 I mean it changes it changes depending on what you're trying to do if you're trying to mess with uh, do like some sort of effect like this with a transition then yes I would say keep it small um, but normally I don't know you probably want to keep it around uh, three-fourths of a second or a second for just a normal transition editing like a gameplay video or something I don't know so <clears throat> but that's that's how you execute this now it should look something like this so you see it kind of like bursts it ripples but it looks cool I don't know how to explain it I just I was messing around one day and I was like, oh, that's cool. Change the time on it and it looks cooler. And obviously this might be a little bit too short. So, like I said, just uh, mess around. <laughs> Let me do like 0.35. Just a little bit longer. And once you change it, it's not going to automatically change. You're going to have to go back and delete it and then re-add, re-add. So yeah, like that's the end of the tutorial. I know it's kind of abrupt, but like my computer kind of exploded. So like, okay, so... In case you missed these other videos, check them out. They might be good. I don't know. I don't even remember what they are, so watch them anyway.